Hello guys, this is Checo and these are my essentials. My racing helmet. This is the one that I'm racing with. If there's a very special race or if I win the race, I always keep it. If there is just like a normal race or a bad race, I keep it wearing it until it's a good one and then I keep it with me. I have the initials at the back. This is my logo together with my number that I use, which is number 11. And then um, my message. Every time I put the helmet on, I am always look at this message. And then the flag at the top, since I was in karting, I was always wanted to wear my, my flag, the Mexican flag on top. It's really light, that's the, the key to it. And efficient, you know, it can resist a massive impact and it will never break. Also the visor, the visors are really strong. I have like 10 tear-offs per race and whenever it gets too dirty, I remove them. And then I have a clean visor again. But I have to balance it out because you cannot remove them too quickly, otherwise you run out of space uh, before the race finishes. It depends, you know, it has um, a cost for the public. Most of it is hand painting. I think for painting it's like 2,000 euro, and then for buying the helmet it's like 5,000 euro. Total about 7,000 or so, but I don't sell them, so they're priceless. I've only auctioned them for my foundation, and they've been auctioned like for 200,000 USD, which everything goes into the Foundation. My foundation, it's all about kids. We look after a lot of kids. They don't have parents and uh, we look after them from a very young age to till they are 18. My watch that I always have to wear, I have like maybe 50 watches. <laughs> yeah, I like watches. This is a special watch for me that uh, was given by TAC when I won Monaco. They engraved the date and the track. It has a lot of history within the sport. And uh, so it's great to be sponsored by, by such a brand. I really like it, it's really light and uh, sportive. So it's always with me on every track appearance. It's a special edition for me. This is definitely my favorite watch. It means a lot to me. Next up, my KitKats. The favorite brand of my kids. Wherever I go, what they want to bring as a surprise is a Kit Kat. It's pretty easy because I have a lot of different flavors. They get really excited, so yeah, I take them with me. I love it. We all, as a family, love them, so it's pretty easy. My favorite flavor, I mean, it's all of this. Look, this is the best thing about Kit Kat. You can't get tired of it. You know, they have so many flavors. For example, when I go to Japan, I buy a lot of Kit Kat because in Japan, I am able to find flavors like the matcha one. You cannot find them anywhere else in the world. Or if I'm in the US or in different parts of the world, you find different, different flavors. Top five. The first one is the dark. Then I will say the matcha. Then cookies and cream. Caramel. What would be the... Ah, the normal one, the standard kit. How do you open it? Ah, they, they always cut it for me, so that's why it was so easy. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Then you cut it like this. Next is my Patron Cristalino. I like the Chris Patron Cristalino because it's just pure and, um, and clean. I always take it with me. If I meet someone uh, that I like, I always give it as a gift or if we have a, a great time, you know, with friends, I open it up. Or we have a good race to celebrate as well, if there's time, or on, on the plane. So um, there's always one with me. The proper way to drink Patron Cristalino is on the rocks. When I have to mix it, and when I'm with friends or so, I mix it with um, soda. Yoga balls. So my trainer takes care of them and they always bring them to the track. Uh, for activation, coordination. We do different sort of exercises with them. It helps you with vision, with the reaction. It helps me to switch my brain on. We also play with some lights for reaction and, and also some juggling for coordination. Like everything, the more you do it, the better you get at it. This is a paddle racket. Paddle is just a very easy sport to get into. It's a bit like, a, I would say like tennis, but with walls around you. So you have to use the, the walls to help you. And it's a lot easier to get into than tennis. It goes really well with our sport. It's good for the cardio, it's good for the coordination, reaction. So it's a great sport. 
I'm average, I'll say. It helps a lot with jet lag, for example, or with the um, relationship with engineers. We have actually a paddle court at the Red Bull factory, so we can play with Christian, for example, or with engineers. And so it's pretty cool. I always take it with me. And when I'm at the track, we sometimes play within the drivers. I think paddle is a great sport, so it's always with me. I don't have a paddle court at home yet, but I'm thinking of getting one. Next is my water bottle. I like to drink uh, very cold water. So this one helps me to keep uh, water really cold, regardless of if I'm on, at the hotel, at the track, I always drink it from here. It doesn't matter at what point of the day I'm drinking it, it's always really cold. I might drink two of these a day. This is my iPad, helps me to keep up to, to date with what's going on with, the, with my life. I don't have social media on my phone. I only use it sometimes on my iPad. I, I delete it very often from my phone and I don't like to, to look at it because I feel like it's a waste of time. Every time I want to, work, to see it on my phone, I have to download it. So it makes you conscious of uh, the amount of time you're gonna waste. So yeah, I prefer not to have it on my phone. Yeah, I also put all the stuff that I, I synchronize it with my phone. So what I have in the next week coming up and stuff like that. Or watch a movie, a series, or uh, chat to my family. The last one I watched was a Gentleman. My top show is Entourage. It has to be number one. I really like it, the, the movie, the series. It's really, really cool. I'm always changing, but I would say like uh, that will be the number one. Next item, my phone. I don't have social media on my phone. You won't actually believe it, but this is just a phone for me. I just make calls or send messages. I also take photos uh, of places that I go, of my family, when I'm on the plane to watch at the pictures that I've taken. When I'm with the engineers, I take pictures of things that I have to look at them. So when I'm quietly at my hotel, I'm able to look at telemetries of videos or videos from previous races or from other drivers on my phone. I like to watch um, the stock market, uh, CNBC, because it gives me a lot of uh, visibility on what's going on with the, with the world. This is a picture of my family. I bring a picture of my family to every race and my backpack. And always when I get to the hotel room, I put it on the side. So it makes me feel like I'm, I'm a bit of uh, at home. I always when I come back from the track, from the circuit or whatever, I look at, back at it and I always feel like they're with me. I would like to tell them to the most important is to be happy and to chase your dreams. You know, I will support them in whatever they want to do. I'm a bit of a girly dad. I'm uh, probably a bit, a bit too easy with my girls. That's it. Those are all my essentials. See you at the track. <laughs>